all of praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Yahakadash, the Buhana to the Elder and Apostle of the Mason, all do well. Peace, blessing, and salutation to Zaki, and who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven, and who make their body a living sacrifice on your front line uh, to make sure that Jerusalem is made a praise here on yes. It's your brother Ashaya coming again to you with this precept. And in front of you, we have an article uh, from CNN which say 25. Malian soldiers killed in attack on two military camps. So <clears throat> this is a judgment uh, from Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, man. And uh, these people from Mali are Israelite, man. Yeah. See, these are Israelite, man. Uh, CNN, at least 25 Malian soldiers were killed and the six are missing after militant attack two arm camp in central Mali on Monday. The country government said security forces sent uh, to the Bukes and the Mondoro near the border with the Burkina Faso uh, were able to reoccupy one of the camp on Tuesday after taking fire from insurgents, according to a government statement. The clash left 25 dead, uh, four wounded, about 60 people missing, and heavy equipment losses, according to a primary report the government said. See. At least 15 militants were killed in, uh, in the exchange, as the government said. You see, separatist, separatist and Al Qaeda linked insurgent often target a militant outposts in West African nations. Uh, so, uh, this is what has been going on in West Africa for the longest. Uh, to the exchange that uh, uh, people don't do uh, their daily activities like going to school, uh, 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 making an income, uh, schools are closed, uh, some markets are closed, amen, and uh, uh, some people are missing, man. a large group number of people are missing uh, because of this, what we call abduction uh, from this terrorist group, man. So Jake have been catching hell in West Africa, man. Uh, and uh, these are cases which were mentioned in Deuteronomy 28. Mm. As the sole of thy feet uh, uh, will not obtain a rest, a uh, lovely paraphrasing. Uh, so from Central Africa, Nigeria, Zia, Senegal, Mali, Sierra Leone, Liberia, all the way down in uh, to Congo Brazzaville and the Republic Democratic of Congo. Uh, right there in the Congo, there is heavy judgment going on right there, man. Uh, Ebola. You see, uh, Ebo Ebola is killing a lot of Israelites there in the Congo. So, anyway, it is time uh, for judgment, man. And the judgment must start uh, in the house of the Lord. Or in his sanctuary, if you will. A, a jihadist insurgent spread in the north and the center of Mali in 2012. Uh, uh, the foreign troops and the government have been unable to fully gain control of some region of the landlocked West African country. So, this uh, jihadist are occupying, are occupying some of the, how do we call it, some of the. West African uh, uh, parts of some country. Uh, you see, uh, let's read this here. Nearly 40 people were killed in June when gunmen stormed two villages in the country, volatile mobbed religion. So, uh, this jihad, jihadist, they kill, they, they can invade any village, any place, a market, or a school. Uh, they abduct people. For no reason, and they don't demand any money. Man. I don't know where they they, 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 they they carry them to. I don't know, but this is judgment, man. This is judgment in which the Lord is sending uh, to this wicked Israelite, man, uh, because.
because they don't want to repent and they turn to the Lord, man. And the 95 people died after armed men opened the fire and burned several home, homes in a doggone village in the same month. More than 20 soldiers were killed in a raid on an army camp in Diola in central Mali in March. So that's what has been going on in West Africa, man. And as they sing with Ebola, man, they sing with Ebola, as the media are not uh, reporting right now, they are keeping quiet, quiet, or they are telling you Ebola uh, is not there, man. Ebola is here. Uh, uh, I witnessed the patient with Ebola. I heard the Lord, I didn't witness Salaki. I heard the Lord, the Lord was a patient with Ebola here uh, in the hospital which I am. You see, I work in a hospital somewhere here in Tanzania. And the Lord was a patient with Ebola. He was from Congo, man. A Congolese who fled uh, to Tanzania. So, what does that mean? Does that mean that Ebola is still here? And for some reasons, as a government institution or mainstream media are not reporting. I don't know what reason is there. I don't know for sure. So, what I know is, as the Lord is bringing some judgment, some gruesome judgment. Man. Let's go and read from Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, I am he, and there is no God with me, I kill and I make a life. I wound, I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So all of this judgment which are going on, uh, uh, a kid is born with uh, hydrocephalus. Uh, he have a big head, uh, or whatever, man, a kid is born without legs, a kid is born without a female gen the genitalia is a female or male genitalia so you can't identify if he is a male or female and guess what, that is judgment man and whatever situation you feel uncomfortable with, that is judgment man a soldier is being killed, that is the Lord yeah. Yeah. killing these people man you see that is the Lord, man. Yeah. The Lord do all this thing, man. Amen. Satan didn't rebel against the Lord and started killing people, man, because he have hatred against God. No. The scripture telling you this is a judgment which come from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh every single day. See, every single day. see so let's go to uh, there is a scripture here you want to bring mm. Mm. this is psalm 7 i start at verse 10 my defense is of god which saves the upright in heart. So judgment is about balance. The Lord is safe and the judge at the same time. Yeah. But to have that qualification for you to be saved, you mean need to be an upright man. Uh, to keep it short, you need to get light uh, with your harbor Hashem Yahushai for you to get that salvation. Uh, aside from that is judgment man, a gruesome judgment. Verse 11, God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it lead. So the Lord have judgment led for the wicked every single day, man. So all the judgment, man, everything which is going on here on yes, this is the Hashem Yahushai movie, man. We are just playing his movie. 
If you fall on the bad side, guess what? Judgment is coming. And uh, as I told you, these people in Mali, this is Israel, you know? And uh, as the scripture says, let's go to, 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 to Ezekiel 9. Ezekiel 9 and 6. Uh, Slay utterly all the young, both maiden and little children and the women, but come not near any man upon whom is a mark, and they begin at my sanctuary. So judgment uh, has already uh, begun, man, and it has begun uh, on the Lord's sanctuary. What does that mean? It's an Israelite, man, you tribals, man. And a few days ago, uh, Trump said, uh, shoot uh, this illegal immigrant on the foot, man. So you, Issachalite, man, judgment is coming in your way, man. And the uh, things uh, will get even worse, man, as we, as we go forward, man. Uh, now they are saying, uh, shoot them on the foot. Another day they will come and say, shoot to kill Another day they will come if you catch them, put them on a concentration camp and uh, uh, spray some ammonium on them. <laughs> like how Hitler used to do. Uh, spray ammonium or whatever cyanide or carbon monoxide. You see? So, some gruesome judgment are coming, man. And the judgment will start in the sanctuary of the Lord, man. Yeah begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Hmm. Let's jump to verse 8. And it came to pass while they were slaying them, it was left that I fell upon my face and cried, and ah, Lord God, which is all destroy all the lazy of Israel in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem. So, uh, Ezekiel saw, uh, this is Ezekiel 9, I started to verse 6. Ezekiel saw uh, uh, some gruesome judgment uh, uh, which is coming upon the house of Israel and he fell <laughs> upon his face, man, saying, uh, saying to the Lord, will you slay all of the, the remnant of Israel? <laughs> See? Will you slay them, uh, all of them, Lord, man? Because uh, Ezekiel saw some gruesome... And, and this, is, this is just the beginning, man. This is a trailer of the movie which is coming, man. Just imagine uh, Ezekiel saw what is coming and he fell down, man. Uh, for the fear of the Lord, man. Uh, that indicates some gruesome judgment is coming upon the house of Israel, man. And uh, this is just the trailer. Uh, the full movie is coming, man. Wait until the Lord unleash uh, uh, this lady creature. As a hubbing of death, man. The Iman. <laughs> the Iman. Uh, that is tend for Esau, man. And nowadays, brothers have, I have seen many brothers, they put the, the letter E <laughs> to, 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 to represent Esau or Edom. <laughs> you see? Mm. So let's go to verse 9 to see uh, why the Lord will slay the house of Israel, man. Then he said unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and the Judah exceeding great, man, uh, for the iniquity, man. Especially you, Northern Kingdom, man. You, 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 you. hey, man. Uh, a report came and uh, it was saying, as a Latina and Native America, um, is the largest corporation uh, which and the Catholic Church, man. Not even Esau. You Latinas in Native America, you make the largest percentage of all people who are in the Catholic Church. <laughs> hey man, you 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 know the kingdom man. When it's come to idol worship, man, you was the first one. Man. That's why judgment always have started has, have started in New Northern Kingdom. And this time around, the Lord will play his movie like that, man. And this judgment, old Jacob trouble will start on you tribes, man, the Northern Kingdom. Then Judah. 
as always the scripture tells you there is no new things under the sun and the judgment have already started if the government is saying public shoot them with the foot what do you think of that that is the trail of the movie which is coming so this hell will intensify on new northern king on new, on new northern kingdom and then the southern kingdom and all of you is it who live in africa man you are not lefty the lord haven't forgotten you judgment is coming man. get light uh, we see how Hashem ya Hashai, man. You see? Get light, we see how Hashem ya Hashai. Oh, he's going to kill you. Mm. He will slay beautiful women with big boot, uh, with beautiful thigh, uh, beautiful women with hairs uh, on their knee. Uh, he will slay little children uh, who don't even know how to talk, man. The sword is upon you, man. See. So let's go. Uh, what you mean? This is Yamos uh, Sri. I will start at verse 4. Will a lion lower in the forest when he has no play? Will a young, young lion cry out of it then if he has taken nothing? <laughs> the Lord is posing you a question, man. The lion symbolizes the hunters, man. All of the people who who, who will be given mandate to hunt you down, man. <laughs> you see. So the Lord will raise some gruesome hunter, man, to hunt you tribes down, man. That's how the Lord is cruel, man. The Lord will raise some gruesome hunters, man, during Jacob's trouble. Verse 5, can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gene is of him? So the Lord will lay his hunters and at the same time he will put snare upon his snare so that you can be trapped. Uh, some will fall to be left. Amen. And, uh, and even many, you you men, uh, you a feminine man will be left. You women will be left. So the Lord will lay his snare upon his snare. Uh, don't even think uh, to outmaneuver the Lord, man. The Lord will, 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 lay, will lay down a snare upon a snare. If you escape this snare, another snare is waiting for you. So, mischief upon mischief, upon mischief, upon mischief, until you are put to death in a gruesome manner. That is the Lord of the Bible, man. So, you know that in the kingdom, you, you native Latin and and the, and the Latina, man, uh, you tribe from the Northern Kingdom, who think Isa is your God, you better get light, man. The Lord is preparing some gruesome judgment, man. And uh, we don't care what you feel. Uh, we don't care, because many of you, you look, you look down on Judah, man. Uh, you look down on yours, uh, maybe because of your skin color, or you think you are better than yours. We don't care about that, man. What we care is, we have told you the judgment which is coming. When the judgment comes, you, 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 you will get light, man. You see? Uh, let's continue. Well, uh, let, let's, let's repeat verse 5. Can a bed fall on a snare upon the earth where no gene is for him? The Lord is asking you. Uh, 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 when the Lord began to execute judgment and uh, you fall... Uh, uh, let, let's take an again example, you, you loud mouth women. When is the Lord is starting pouring his judgment during Jacob's trouble? And you fall in the hand of some uh, uh, men, uh, let's, uh, let's say five men, and they, 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 they lap you. You see? Uh, the Lord is asking you, can your bed fall in a snare upon the earth? Uh, you are the bed. The Lord is asking you, uh, can men lap you during Jacob's trouble when the Lord have not uh, mandated it? So, in other way, to put it simple, the Lord has laid a snare for you to be lap. <laughs> can a bed fall in a snare upon the earth where no gene is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Ooh. So, the Lord will lay will some skilled hunters, man to bring judgment on you 
You see, shall your trumpet be blown in the city and the people and not be afraid? Shall Zela be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing but reveals his secret on the servant, the prophet. Who? That's what is happening. We are telling you judgment is coming. The lion has lowered who will not fear. The Lord God has spoken who can but prophesy. You see? Why do we prophesize, man? Because we want to be on the good side of our Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because in Psalms, let's go back to Psalm, man. Let's go back to Psalm, Psalm 7. Psalm 7. Psalm 7 and 10. My defense is of God which serves the upright in, in, in heart. Who is the upright? Is the man who keeps keep the law, statutes, and commandments. In another uh, words, is the man who fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And among those men are the prophet men. We fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. That's why we are doing this, man. Because the, the scripture tells you the Lord is the defense of the man with an upright heart. So let's go back to, to Amos. Let's go back to Amos. Let's see. Let's go back to Amos. Let's see. Amos C. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's jump to verse 14. That in the day that I shall revisit the transgression of Israel. As a nation of Israel, they have been doing whatever they want for the longest since the time of, of was falling away. We have been doing the hell we want. So the Lord want to bring that judgment, man. Amen. To cut out the two said of Israel, man. In a cruel manner. Now the rest of this is the art of Bethel and the horn of waters shall be cut off and fall to the ground. Uh, who are the art of Bethel, man? Uh, you tribes who who who, uh, uh, who wash, worship uh, Caesar Boji and think that uh, he is your God, man. Uh, and the Esau have tricked the Northern Kingdom into thinking that uh, he is God, man. Uh, because you got that complexion and you think you are equal to the white man. man. Uh, you have already for, forgotten what the white man did to you, man. The trail of tears. What Cristobal Colon did to you and the Christianity. So the Lord wants to remind you, man. Uh, the Lord wants to, 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 to tell you, hey, look, man, I am your maker. Yahab Hashem Yahashah is your maker, man. And you are the Lord's portion, not Caesar Bojia. Uh, that's why, uh, amen. And another thing, the Lord is very jealous, man. He's a jealous power, man. <laughs> the Lord is emotion, man. How do you know that? The time when the Lord wanted to put uh, all Israel to death and, the, to, and the only uh, Moses to remain, man. <laughs> you see? So Moses uh, uh, began to plead the cause of Israel, man, and to remind the Lord of all the things he done to Israel, man. See? That right there is to tell you the Lord is emotion like you are, man. That's why. The scripture tells you the Lord is jealous, man. How about Hashem Yahushua is a jealous husband, man. And you are his wife, man. Uh, what happened when a jealous, jealous wife uh, catch his wife, a jealous husband, like a jealous husband catch his wife uh, committing adultery, man? He will put her to death. Uh, that's the same thing and even much more to our Lord here. How about Hashem Yahushua, man? So you tribal need to get light with your Haba Hashem Yahushai before that heavy judgment. And with that I say shalom onto the next. I hope you brothers are edified, man.